biochemist, my biggest piece of advice, learn your amino acid abbreviations. Here's some help. Thankfully, a lot of these amino acids make your life simple and it's just the first letter. The only thing to keep an eye out for this is isoleucine. Its abbreviation is I-L-E and not I-S-O. Then there are the ones that the abbreviations sound similar. Arginine, R, arginine, beware the pirate jokes. Glutamine, glue, Q, but then you need to remember that the abbreviation for glutamine is actually GLN and not GLU, and GLU is not a Q. Phenylalanine, phenyl, f, 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 f. So we've got phenylalanine is an F. Tryptophan, say it like Tweety Bird, and you remember that it is a W. And if you thought the abbreviation was TRY, try again, it's actually TRP. Tyrosine, its second letter is a Y, tyrosine, and it's a Y is its abbreviation. Now we've got the leftovers. Asparagine, there's an N, there's an N in a lot of these ones, but if you think about it having that amide group at the end, it's got the nitrogen, we've got an N. Aspartate, think about fardate, you can remember that it's a D. Glutamate, so glue, again we can't go back to Q, but we can go to E. The acidic amino acids are just going to be these, some of the leftovers, our D and our E. And remember that aspartate is before glutamate in the alphabet. So aspartate gets the D and glutamate gets the E. And aspartate side chain is shorter than glutamate. Lysine. K is close to L, so might as well. Speaking of those acidic and basic, you're dead if you drink acid. So aspartate and glutamate, our D and our E, are going to be our acidic amino acids. Those are often going to be negative. As for our positively charged amino acids, our basic amino acids, you can remember baseball is played in the park. So histidine, arginine, and lysine are going to be your basic amino acids, and those are going to be positive. At least some of the time, this matches C histidine is very wishy-washy charge-wise, but when he's charged, he's positively charged. Sometimes the name actually gives you some hints about the shape. Valine is the most obvious. Its side chain is shaped like a V, which is its one-letter abbreviation. Leucine, if you think of kind of a V at the end of a linker, you get to leucine. Threonine, we've got three groups in the side chain, and one of them has an oxygen, an O. Proline side chain loops back on itself, kind of like a P, and there you go. Its abbreviation is a P. Phenylalanine, if you think of this as kind of being a benzene ring on the end of a linker, you get your phenylalanine. Lysine, there are four points on a K and there are four carbons on lysine side chain. And then finally our tryptophan, we've got this big bulky W and we've got this big bulky side chain.